What's going on guys? It's Greg here, AKA NY Prepper. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a penetration test with my 300 Win Mag. I'm gonna be shooting some 210 grain solids that I hand loaded. And I wanna see if they can penetrate through these giant Aspen logs. These logs are between 17 and 20 inches in diameter. I want to see if it can go through at least one of them or if maybe it'll be able to go through two. Now I've done a lot of testing with this load and it can penetrate quite a bit. So really curious if it's going to go through at least one of these logs. And I got the tape measure here so you guys can see how wide this log is. All right. Just over 19 inches. All right. And both of them are about 19 inches. And this is the round I'm gonna be shooting. All right, it's a 210 grain flat nose solid. It's some kind of copper alloy, solid copper alloy bullet. And these are hand loaded to 2,700 feet per second. And that comes out to 3,400 foot pounds. I'm gonna be shooting from 25 yards away. And I'm gonna be using a 20 inch barrel Ruger M77 Hawkeye Alaskan. And so here's the second log. You can see also 19 inches. So what do you guys think? Do you think it'll penetrate through both? Do you think it'll penetrate through one, at least one? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Just absolutely massive logs. And these logs fell over in a storm two months ago. So they're still kind of green. They're not rotted at all. All right, let me just show you. All right, they're solid. There's no rot on this. All right, they're fresh cut. They fell over in a storm and the storm workers cut the tree and left these giant logs. So no rot at all. All right, solid wood. So let's see what happens, guys. You think it'll penetrate through at least one, maybe two? What do you think? And this is the rifle I'm gonna be using. It's my Ruger M77 Hawkeye Alaskan. It's got a 20 inch barrel using a Silencer Co. Omega 300 suppressor. And I got these iron sights on here. I love iron sights on rifles, especially bolt actions. And my local gunsmith bead blasted the Mauser claw extractor and the bolt handle. So it's really smooth and it doesn't reflect sunlight. It's nice and grippy. And I got this Athlon 2.5 to 15 power scope. So let's see what happens here, guys. What do you think is going to happen? Take a guess. All right, guys, 300 wind mag, 210 grain solid hand load, 2,700 feet per second, Ruger M77 Hawkeye, Alaskan 20 inch barrel. Let's see if we can penetrate those logs. All right, guys, 300 wind mag, 210 grain solid, 2,700 feet per second, 3,400 foot pounds. Here was my hit. And looks like we penetrated through one log. So that's really good. So here's our exit hole right there. 
in the first log. And then here we have an entrance hole in the second log right there. Little tiny hole, but I don't see an exit hole on the back of the second log anywhere. I don't see any exit hole here. So it looks like it didn't pass through the second one, but it passed through the first one, no problem. So that's uh, really impressive, guys. For a 300 wind mag, such a light bullet, only 210 grains just zipped right through this log. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this log around the long ways and we're gonna see if we can penetrate the long ways, which would be 19 inches, 20 inches, something like that. It's just amazing how that bullet was able to shoot straight through this log. Just to show you again, here was the entrance hole on the first log, all right? And here was the exit hole on the first log, all right? And then here was the entrance hole on the second log. You can see that tiny little 30 caliber hole. And it just passed straight through perfectly. Absolutely insane. So I turned this one around the long way, which should be 19 and a half inches. We're going to shoot through it the long way and see if we can't pass through the long way. All right, guys. 300 wind mag, 210 grain solid versus Aspen logs, the long ways now. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, so here was my hit. This is the first log entrance hole right here. And looks like we passed through, but we didn't pass through the second one. There's our exit hole there. And we got an entrance hole, I believe, here or here. Can't tell which one. These other two holes are from the 416 Ruger test, but I took two shots with the 416 Ruger in this same general part of the wood. And one of these holes is the uh, 300 Win Mag. So looks like we penetrated through one of these logs with the 300 Win Mag. 20 inches of wood. That is just ridiculous, guys. Absolutely insane how massive these logs are. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more 300 Win Mag, check out my 300 Win Mag playlist. I'll leave a link in the top right corner. But there you have it. You know, hiding behind a big tree won't necessarily protect you. Depending on the type of rifle and ammunition somebody's using, you may not be safe. So take care, God bless, and don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.